everyone and welcome to this very special top 10. I decided I wanted to do a top 10 today because I haven't done a top 10 or a top 5 video in, in ages. When was my last top list video? Three days ago. Th three days is a long time, man. And the topic that I've decided that I wanted to cover is the top 10 Pokemon gym badges because it's a unique top 10 idea that no one has done yet and I thought... Uh, actually, that's a top 5. And mine's a top 10, which means I'm still right, no one has done this top 10 before. So as you all know, there have been tens and tens and tens of gym badges throughout the years. So I figured, why not get the help of the best Pokemon YouTuber on YouTube, Mr. Hoodlum's Crafty. Yo! And if you believe that we missed out a gym badge that should have been on the list, well you're wrong. Because, like I said, Callum is the best Pokemon YouTuber, which makes this video 100% fact making your opinion wrong. Unless, of course, your opinion is exactly the same as ours. Anyway, let's get on to the list. These are the top 10 Pokemon gym badges as picked by us, because we are right, and, and this video proves it. So kicking off this list of the top 10 Pokemon gym badges, we have the plain badge and the basic badge. We chose to put these badges on this list because there's absolutely no way they'd appear on any other best gym badge list, and I'm an edgy hipster, so if nobody else will like it, that means I have to. I mean, look at them. They're literally called the plain and the basic badge. Who else is going to put these on the best gym badge list? Us. That's who. The basic badge is given out by not one, but two different gym leaders, and the plain badge is given out by that one bitch with the fat cow that everyone seemed to have trouble with. Winnie Callum. Her name is Winnie. Plus the plain badge kind of looks like a condom packet. So at number 9 we have the Mineral Badge and the Iceberg Badge. These badges are on the list for being completely unoriginal and they're basically rip-offs of the Boulder Badge and the Glacier Badge. I mean, look at them. The Mineral Badge is even plainer than the Plain Badge and the Iceberg Badge is... You know what, the Iceberg Badge actually looks better than the Glacier Badge. Coming in at number 8 on the list we have the Soul Badge and the Mind Badge. These badges are on the list for being pink and heart shaped. They remind me of those Pokemon that are also pink and heart shaped. I like these badges because it shows that even the most masculine of gym badges can be a little feminine too. Taking the number 7 spot is the Cobble Badge. We picked the Cobble Badge but Wait a minute. The Cobble Badge is a square shape. Squares have 4 sides. The Cobble Badge has 4 rectangles inside it. The Cobble Badge is given out in the 4th generation! Gen 4 Remake Conver- Coming in at number 6 spot we have the Balance Badge and the Wave Badge. We decided to put these two badges in the same spot because if you put these badges together they make... Squidward's face. What? What did you think I was gonna say something else? You thought I was gonna say penis didn't you? Taking the number 5 spot on our list is another tie, this time between the Knuckle Badge, the Rumble Badge, and the Storm Badge. These badges are all sharing a spot because they're all shaped like fists, and all you have to do is make them red. And you get what looks like a red glove and OH MY GOD! Taking the 4th spot we have the Cliff Badge. Taking the number 3 spot on our list, we have this badge, this badge, this badge, and this badge. We really like these badges because, even though we have no idea what they're called, or where they're from, or why they're in the anime, we think they look cool, and some of them just look kinda silly. Seriously, some of these designs are kinda stupid. Like, look at these, look at these, what are they? They look like sweets, they look like candy, and, and Gary's badges? Like, what, what are they? Like, some of these aren't even official badges. Like, where the f*** is the Thunder Badge, the Soul Badge, and the Mars Badge? Like, what are these? Where did you get them, Gary? Where the f***? Taking the runner-up spot of our top 10 Pokemon Gym Badges, we have the Crest of Courage. Or, as it was known at the time, the Courage Badge. Now, for those of you that didn't know, the Gym Badges we got in Generation 1 weren't the original designs that we got for the badges. At first, they all looked like this. But, at last minute, they were scrapped for not being good enough, which is why they were put in Digimon instead. But our favourite of them all is the Courage Badge, mainly because it's shaped like a sun. And one of the next Pokemon games is called Pokemon Sun. And finally, our pick for the number one Pokemon Gym Badge is the F*** You Badge. Because... F*** You, that's why. So that was our list for the top 10 Gym Badges in Pokemon. 
as picked by us. Now this is usually the part where I say leave your favourite gym badges in the comments. But let's be serious, no one cares. I'd like to thank my co-hosts for joining me today. Thanks for having me man. And if you like to see the collab that we did over on Callum's channel, well too bad. Because it doesn't exist. Okay for reals, Callum was actually really busy, so the fact that he was cool enough to actually find time to do this video is pretty awesome of him. I really hope you enjoyed this 100% serious top 10. It was fun to do and yeah. Okay I promise my next video won't be a top 10 or a top 5 video. I know I've done quite a few lately and I'm going to try and lay off them for a little bit. Please leave a like because it will really really help me out even though that's a blatant lie. I just want loads of likes on the video. So please like the video and also subscribe if you haven't. And subscribe to Callum's channel as well. Or don't. Honestly I don't care. As long as you subscribe to me. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.